Hello, my name's Jordan, and I'm with Skip from play.gamesobs.net. Hello! <laughs> and we're showing the uh, Mindscape version 2. It's currently in, I'd say, pre-alpha, but this is going to become the alpha. Is, yep, that, is that fair play? Yeah, yeah, we can say that. Okay, cool, cool. So, um, there's numerous amount of things to uh, discuss and show off, and Skip will start with the custom mobs, because he is the maker, the owner, <laughs> the coder everything apart from yeah. the map ha. so go go for it <laughs> so basically it's like in runescape you have different mobs unique mobs and they are like they have multiple levels etc and etc so for example we have like a unicorn level 15 so if i were to punch the unicorn i would die, die because i'm a noob <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you can well see yeah because okay, that's level 15 warrior. and we're level one the Alcarid Warriors are level 9, so they will be in Alcarid in the place that they're supposed to be. If we come yep. up here, God knows, we don't know why they spawn. I think it's because mob spawning's been on, so they've yep. just appeared. But they will have custom levels eventually, I, I believe. Um, there is also a rat here, which is a silver fish. So I'm going to kill that. And um, mobs that aren't supposed to attack you do attack you. That's true, isn't it, with the... Yep. It is. So Skip like can, can kill the chicken because I'm on half health. <laughs> yep, yeah. So the chicken will attack me, yep. Which is crazy because <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that happen before in a game of that's cool. this. So that's that's pretty damn awesome. And it also happens with cows apparently. Yep, yeah. it does. That's amazing. Um, so we're going to do the quest second of all. It's it's a simple quest, It just just to show what can happen and the potential that it's got. But notice in Mindscape 1... The quests were repetitive and it was like, can you do this? Then they come back and then it was fixed. This, however, if we start talking to Bob. Hey, welcome to the amazing quest. In some quests, you'll be able asked to give an answer. Left clicking a villager means yes and right clicking means no. So you do, do you get it? Left click. Good. Can you say hello to John for me, please? So here's John and there's Bob. So I talk to John. He says, hey, thanks for saying hello. Could you say hey to Bob for me, please? Thanks. So now I talk to Bob again and he says, hey, how's it going? So, you know, you can do this with both of them. But basically, the interaction happened that you could talk to Bob, then John, then Bob. So, this can mean that you can go to Lumbridge and get the quest, then go to Varrock to do the next part of the quest. Things like that, yeah? Yep, and also when you will complete the quest, you will earn some quest XP. And some quests will only be able to do if you have, like, a certain quest level. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's going to be cool. Yeah, I know it is. Um, okay, so then there's a numerous other things to show, like the uh, the shop for the next thing. So, Skip, do you want to give a little like, explanation first of how this works? So this is a, a shop example. It won't be like that in the game, but basically you click a villager, either left or right clicking, and then you get uh, a little screen. And then you can either left clicking to buy the item or right clicking to sell it. Which says and, on screen, because yeah. there was a uh, plug-in ages ago with signs that didn't really make it stupidly clear. I think it was the same system, but you didn't... Sometimes I've forgotten things. This, you know, yep. there's no way that you can get this messed up. <laughs> so, do I buy, should I buy something? Yeah, you can buy And also, at the That's moment, they, do have cust they don't have custom prices, really. They're just random amounts. Yeah, and yeah, you can yeah. see the stock in shop as well, which is cool. So, I will buy a bronze play body. I already have one, but so be it. And as you can see, everything has its own slot. You can't stack raw chickens. You can only stack things like coins. Arrows, you can only stack 10 of them. Am I correct? You are, yep. Yes, I'm always correct. <laughs> and yeah, so basically that's that's that. So I'll put on my bronze plate body and armor appears as normal. You may also notice that my bars of health is only um, is only five. and Well, it would be five and a half when I eat these next chickens. Apparently that's because that's all I've got of health. Uh, you, there's also less um, stars than normal here, hearts even. Yep. And um, that's that's because you have to earn them to level up. So should we do wood coin first, actually? Cause it's right here. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go for it. All right. Okay. So it's norm, same as normal. You go slower as you start wood coin, and I've got a bronze axe. And it also makes sh make sure to notice that the durability stays the same constantly. Just like RuneScape. And I was like, isn't this a problem? And Skip went, well, if you die, you lose your items. So I was like, okay, fair enough. People can loot. People can lose their things and have to rebuy them. So it's up to them again. So that's that's good. 
I'm happy yep. about that. So yeah, as you can see, it comes to oak wood instead of an oak log because there's a new crafting system being added in, which Skip's going to code next, and that's why it's an alpha, because everything's not completed yet. Yep. <laughs> uh, can you give us an insight into crafting, like what's going to happen with it? Basically, like in, Rune in RuneScape, you don't have a lot to craft. Like you're usually you're smelting your stuff, making pickaxes, axes, swords, stuff like that. And basically for the crafting thingy, it will be like special items. I'm not too sure yet. I will need to look into the RuneScape wiki. Yeah. But yeah, wood will be es essentially used in the fire making skill to cook stuff and all. Yeah, yeah, that's good, because at the moment I only noticed that I look like got like half a heart from the chicken. Yep. And if it was cooked, I'd probably get more. So yeah, with this at the moment, you can see it's coal and it's um, redstone ore. However, it's not. It's coal... Uh, sorry, it's tin and copper from RuneScape. I think the red yep. one's coal. I mean tin. Ugh! The uh, redstone copper, is, is copper, copper and the coal is tin. Sorry about that. Yep. <laughs> and basically, we are aware that it goes super fast when you start mining the copper because um, it's redstone ore, and I don't know, that it's just something is different with it. So yeah, um, as you can see, it goes um, orange after you click on it, after you've mined it, and you get copper ore from it, which is here and here. So I'm going to go over now and get the equal amount of tin, which this one is the actual animation that should happen without the uh, messing up of the mining. And boom, you're now level 4 in mining because I'm just the best miner in the world. You are a pro, man. At the moment, shouldn't I technically be number 1 on the leaderboard? Um, no, because I'm better than you. Oh! <laughs> are you actually? <laughs> yeah, because I tested some stuff. Ah, oh, you barstool. Okay, <laughs> so we have the ore, uh, if you have some as well. Yep. And, I, I and... would say, before going to the uh, smith, let's type slash h. Oh yeah, and also, just before I do slash h... Yep. You can't link, like, copper and coal and things. You can't place them on top of each other. So that's that. And slash H. Oh, yes. Welcome to this <laughs> preview. Apparently it will be smoother um, when Skip yep. sorted it a bit more. But basically it's just a flyover, and I think it will become a tutorial or something. Yep, it's basically for tutorials when I need to show some places, etc. Yep. That's, it's just amazing. So slash H mm -hmm. works as a flyover, and that's that's amazing. I don't, yep. even, I don't even know how you'd start to begin to code that. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to um, run back towards the smelting area. Now, this is the yep. same journey as you'd be doing in RuneScape, so you can't complain about distance and things. It is technically the exact same distance. I'm uh, sure I remember that the, the old times. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that the uh, Minecraft character is a bit faster, though. I don't really know. Yeah, it's a bit faster because I remember when I was playing RuneScape, it was so long. <laughs> I know. Um, oh, Matt used to have a really bad system of where to run as well. He used to do, like smith somewhere, then go to another town and smith there. And I was like, Matt, you just smith in the same place. He's like, do doi. So yeah, we're nearly there now. <laughs> and also, I just want to show this. These are here at the moment, but they will be removed. They're admin shops. So that's in case anyone comes across them. The admin shops are from an old server. We got an old version of the Ru RuneScape world back so that we could put everything onto the same world. This now has the whole of the members world mapped down. Not built, but mapped down. So that's for future building. So tell us about the uh, smithing. So basically, to to smith uh, uh, whoa 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 to smith a whore, uh, you just to need smith to smith a whore. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> That's what oh I heard. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. Same. Uh, <laughs> you, you just need to click a furnace, furnace, and you will get like a little stream, and you can smell different ores. So as you can see here. Required level 0, required level 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 70, and 85. Same as it is in um, RuneScape. And this is amazing. Like, what the hell? I don't even know how you'd start this, but here's <laughs> all the bars and whatnot. And fantastic. So, yeah, I'm going to be clicking on the bronze bar, which I left click. Does it matter, left click or right? No, it doesn't. Right, so you can left or right click. So I left click, and there you go, bronze bar right there. And I left click again, and boom, two bronze bars. So I now have, if I move that oak wood, two bronze bars right here. And what's next? Skip. So, and then with those bronze bars... <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can transform it into, like, for example, a dagger. So you, you click the anvil 
you click on the Smith I just, Browns yeah, icon. Yeah, I just want to explain that all of these, they open up their own sort oh, of yeah, area. Yeah. So, oh, we've got the bows, the arrows and things, surely. Unless that's yeah. not done yet. No, it is done. So we can talk about that as well? Yeah. Yes. Okay, Smith, Smith Bronze category. So you see bronze daggers, offhand, helms, and it says there at the top, required level. Required level of one. So that means I can smith it at level one. Then there's like, um, some things need to be changed. I've just realized bronze full helm still says required level one. Yeah, 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 because it's level one actually, I think. No, the full helm isn't. It? It's way higher than that, from, based on the game. And the, oh, it is, it is, it yeah. is my bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it, do, it doesn't matter. But anyway for the time being. So yeah, all of these things are, are here and there's a bronze bow which we'll get to in a bit because Skip told me about that earlier and I'm well excited about it. And bronze arrows as well. So anyway, I will make a bronze helm, seeing as I don't have one. And this is a medium helmet as well. Um, and I will make a bronze, bronze um, dagger. So boom, I've made both of them and I got from that 12 experience and 12 experience. So I now wield the bronze helmet and bada boom. I then also have the bronze dagger here, which has four attack damage, and it is. I might as well have stuck with my bronze longsword, but it doesn't matter for now because I've got this dagger as well. It does. We we are going to use a texture pack. I don't know if I stated that earlier on, but a texture pack will be included with this online uh, server. Yep. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to be looking at stuff all day. Like. Uh, so yeah, yeah. So we're going to go with the uh, the archery now. I take it. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> right, okay, so explain the archery because... Uh... So basically in RuneScape, you have different bows and different arrows. And the damage you are doing to a mob uh, will depend on the arrow and the bow. So basically, if you shoot with a bronze bow and a bronze arrow, arrow you, will, you will get like a certain damage. And it will become higher if you use, for example, an iron bow and iron arrows. What about so, the combination yeah. of iron arrows and bronze arrows? So for example, and bronze if, arrows. if you have bronze and iron arrows, it will use the the arrow you can use. So for example, if I can use iron arrows and bronze arrows, it will take the better one. So the I iron believe arrows. that you can use iron and bronze at level one. Yeah, I think archery. so. Yeah. So I uh, would iron just be a bit stronger? Yeah, it would. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to kill this pig now because it deserves to die. Pig? There's a pig. Yeah, yeah, but remember, like, you might have spawned animals on and things oh, yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's could. not a problem for now, just... So, I, th hey, I think it will be... Uh... Yeah, it takes its time to die. Sheesh, my yeah, archery sucks. You should kill, like, a rat. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, I'm... Why, would this take literally all my arrows? Yes. Yeah. yep. <laughs> oh, my God. It is as well. Come here, piggy. Right, okay, I've only got one arrow left. Okay. So, you might have to I team the... Uh... Yep. And I is, will give you some. is there any more stats or just the, the, the archery left at the moment? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> uh, okay, let me take this. Here we go. Use the bow. Use the arrow. Use the force. Right, so kill the rat. Do you oh, get, do you get um, XP per, ar per, um, per hit or per kill? Per hit. Right, okay. Same as RuneScape then. Yep. Cool. Is there a behind-the-scenes system that works this? Uh, what do you mean? So like how much XP you get per kill and things like that. Is yeah, 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 yeah. It's basically the amount of damage you're doing divided by four, and it also Last checks arrow. the difference, the oh difference days. between the levels. Right. So, so if you attack a level five, you will get more XP. I think archery needs to be like either yep. buffed or the rats need to be nerfed at the moment. But yeah, I, I, archery needs to be fixed. Same as um, the, the fact is that it works, and the fact is that they've all got. Like mem like names like physical names like bronze bow, mithril chain body, iron longsword things like that. So everything is customed, and with one point seven coming out, there is a lot more logs. And uh, Skip told me about the logs the being and the fish too. Yeah. Oh yeah, and the fish as well. So yeah, there's fishing involved. There's. Can you give us a list of all of the the ones that are going to be all of the uh, skills skills, or is that to be announced? Uh, well, we'll have mining, woodcutting, herbalism, farming, cooking, smithing, crafting, fire making, strength, defense, range, magic, ring crafting, prayer, agility, questing, and maybe companion. 
Jesus. So, so yeah. <laughs> there's so much going on. And also, um, quests are in the making at the moment. Are they in the making at the moment or going to be made soon? Uh, I still need to finish the quest system. So right, it has, okay. like, way more stuff. But when the beta will be out, there will be a lot of quests. Don't yeah, worry. yeah, yeah. And also, um, we, I've, I've told Skip before, and I've, I think it'll be done, that the Mindscape 1 suffered from just being in Lumbridge. So yeah. to space out the things in the early game so that people have to explore to get them. And then it will just basically come go from there. But, I mean, this is so cool. And everything's come into place now. So Mindscape 2 is, like, being built, all of the custom things to RuneScape, much more than was in the first one. And the whole map is mapped down and ready to be built on. So it's going to be, like, a project that's just going to be able to be pushed out now. And that's amazing. Oh yeah, that's gonna be so cool. Die, um. rat. <laughs> so, is there anything else that that needs to be shown or added to the um, end? Or? I don't think so. We um, so no. cust custom mobs, quest system, stats, uh, a shop, a new money system. Uh, one more thing: Are yep. people that you were VIP on the last one going to be VIP on this one? Yep, and they right. will have an alpha version in coming uh, tomorrow. So I don't know when this video this will be up. up tonight. So it will be on the 28th of October will be the alpha. And all the previous premium people on Mindscape version 1 will be able to play the alpha version. So Which yeah, and if awesome. you want to join the alpha, you will need to pay the global VIP rank. But yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I'll leave a link in the description below to the website. And you can just go there and if you haven't already and you want to test this out then buy uh, the VIP on Mindscape and you can play the alpha. Yep. So thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you in the next video guys.